problem if i prefer to take a shift i will go for the manual i'm really disappointed okay holy shit i'm sawad abdul salam and you're watching rapid auto So hey guys back with another video so as you can see today we have a hatchback so this is a maruti swift zdi plus 2021 model okay so let's open the hood and we will talk about the car so as you can see this is a key fob it's a small key and there is a blue back it's pretty cool the car is pretty clean to be honest it's super hot Is this the wrong place to put it? I really don't know. Okay, I think it's good. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. Right okay. So, as you can see, this is the engine bay. It's pretty clean, but uh, let's talk about the engine. So, as you know, uh, uh, Maruti has discontinued the diesel uh, variants of all cars. because uh, due to the stricter norms of uh, bs6 emission so this is the uh, 1.2 liter petrol engine a k series petrol engine uh, a four cylinder engine so this produces around uh, 89 ps of power 89 uh, bhp and around 113 newton meters of torque so the power figures aren't that great but uh, if you look at the weight uh, it's okay like uh, it it's on, uh, it weighs only around 950 kilos so it's a pretty light car and we'll close the hood and let's take a walk around so it's pretty clean and well maintained car and i have to give a great uh, like hats off to them uh, to maruti because they made it look very sporty like it looks very sporty like as you can see this is a uh, stock there is no modifications done to it this came from the showroom like this as you can see uh, the roof has been black uh, it's a really sporty car i really like it i really like the design of it like and as you know we can do lots of modifications on this like on the exterior it's a pretty beautiful car so let's get inside and we'll talk about the interior and the transmission so let's start the vehicle as you can see there is engine start stop button Okay, we'll press the brake and start it. So this is an instrument cluster. As you can see, there is an RPM meter, uh, there is a speedo, and there is a, all the average fuel economy range. So this car gives around uh, 17.8 uh, if you look into the economy. And there is a steering control, cruise control, and volume button. And uh, this is a call, so we can attend the call, decline it. and there is voice assistant 
this is a wiper and this is a light controls and there is a traction control there uh, there is a, a light adjustment and all the window controls mirror controls and this is the temperature a this is a display for the ac all the, uh, like all the details okay so this is the infotainment system so it's a pretty good uh, infotainment system all the vehicle has the same infotainment system in maruti as you know and this is vehicle information no alerts hazard button and this is the interior of the car pretty good okay let's talk about the transmission so this particular car is an automatic so this is a five speed amt transmission so if we talk about the transmission it's not uh, like very good it's okay but uh, the main problem is the lag between shifts it's pretty like we can know the cha change in the gear and uh, while overtaking any cars like if we put the foot down it just takes a lot of time to figure it out like uh, in which gear it had to go the uh, kick down is very slow that's the main problem if i prefer to take a uh, shift i will go for the manual not for the automatic because manual is better than automatic uh, because of the, uh, the lag in between the shifts so today as you can see we will do the 0 to 100 test and the brake test and we will do the uh, we'll talk about the car so let's get to the video so let's uh, start the 0 to 100 test so always wear your seat belt so let me wear my seat belt so just for a disclaimer i know this is uh, like very risky and i don't uh, like encourage anyone to re uh, recreate or redo any of this i know this is risky and i'm taking uh, as much as safety as i can so right now I'm wearing a helmet and a belt. So I hope you understand it. So let's start, uh, start the 0 to 100 test. Traction under off. Okay. In three, two, one, start. As you can see the delay in the transmission. It's pretty slow. 100. What's the time? Holy shit. <laughs> it's pretty slow. 21.18. That's what I said, like the transmission is pretty laggy in this, it's, it's really laggy. So that's the time here. I think I can get a little better, we'll do it again. So I hope you understand. And Okay, reset it. So as you know, I'm just starting out right now and I can't afford any fancy equipments so the timing may vary okay i hope you understand that i'm doing my best to uh, get as accurate as possible so let's do it again this time i'm not gonna do the uh, I'm not gonna uh, brake boost the car, okay? I just messed up because another com car came. Okay, so we'll do it again. Let's try it in manual. Like, I don't get the... It's not too responsive, the car. I know it's not a performance vehicle or any other sort of thing. I know it's a, like a city used car. So 
Freunde, Leute, hier. So, this is a fourth attempt. Let's see. Right now it's in manual, as you can see. Okay. In three, two, one, start. Okay, let's start. Why do you... I'm really disappointed. 100. Point eleven. Even though I missed this, I missed the gear, like it went directly to second, uh, third gear. I don't know why the car does that, but it got sixteen point eleven. And I really want to do it one more time. And this would be the final one. Let's reset it. The transmission is pretty laggy in this. I'm really disappointed. Okay. So this is the fifth attempt. In three, two, one, start. Second gear. Third gear. And 100. What's the time? 14.57. So at least now I am good with the time. So the company claims around 13 or 14 seconds. I don't know how did they claim that. Okay. Uh, I got a time of 14.57 Kind of a bit disappointed. I know the transmission isn't that good in this so now we'll do the brake test and We'll wind up So let's do our brake test Hello on traction control Okay, just uh, make sure there is no vehicle behind. Okay, so we'll reach 80 and we'll break. As you can see the lag in the transmission. Oh, there is vehicle behind me. Okay, okay. We'll wait. So we'll do the brake test. As you know, uh, we'll reach 80 kilometers an hour, then we'll break. So, yeah, just make sure there is no vehicle, uh, vehicle behind. Okay, so as you can see the lag in the transmission. 60. Is it clear? Okay. Holy shit. Okay, so... It braked well, so let's just, uh, I will measure the distance and I will be right back. So, we just measured the braking distance. It was around uh, 15.3 meters. Uh, brake wise, I'm really impressed about this car because it braked very well. Uh, and if you talk about the brakes, this has disc brakes in the front and in the rear, it is drum brakes. 
so really impressed about the brakes and if we talk about the car it's a city car so 14.57 from 0 to 100 uh, is okay but not the uh, best time I thought it could do uh, a bit better than that so if we talk about the car it's uh, pretty smooth the engine wa engine wise it is really smooth it gives a good mileage but uh, in safety it isn't that good like as you know uh, Maruti compromises its safety for the cars but uh, if you look at the uh, price also the car is a good value for money for the city not for long drives and if you look into the body and the, all those stuff it's not pretty good okay so nothing really to hate other than the automatic transmission it's really laggy and that's all let's do a outro and we will wind up so this is the last bit of the video the outro so i hope you like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and don't forget to share your thoughts okay so this is all about the swift we'll just take a walk around it's a beautiful uh, beautiful vehicle it, it's really sporty and i really love the look of the car okay so until next time adios peace Oh, 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 oh,